What is up YouTube? It is the anonymous sneakerhead, the most mysterious sneaker YouTuber in the game. Today is May 1st, the first day of May, which means we are 15 days away from the giveaway if we can get the 500 subscribers and only if we get the 500 subscribers. So make sure you guys hit that red button, hit that notification bell. And also while you're there, you can follow my Instagram um, at anonymous sneakerhead because that's where you get a lot of content first before it gets to YouTube. Now, let's get into today's video because this is the next episode in the Sneaker Talk Saga. I actually forgot what number it is, so I'm not going to try to say the number. I think it's 11 or 12, something around there. But anyways, I got a couple things I want to talk about sneaker-wise. First of all, um, as everyone knows, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. here on the East Coast, we are getting the release of the long-awaited Fire Red 5s, Silver Tongue, no 23 on the side. I will be going after these. Um, so the way that I feel about Jordan 5s and the way that I feel about sneakers in general, little things can turn me off or turn me on to a sneaker completely. And I think what turns me on to a Jordan 5 and what turns me off to a Jordan 5 is the exact opposite of what turns a lot of people on or off to the Jordan 5. I personally don't like when there's a little 23 on the heel or sometimes the 45 or whatever number it is. Um, I prefer the smooth look of the Jordan 5 with no number on it. Um, I, I, for whatever reason, the when it has a number on it, it reminds me of like NASCAR. Um, don't know why. I just personally don't like the number. So I'm really happy that these Fire Red 5s are coming out the way they are. And I will be going after them tomorrow. Also, next weekend, next, uh, is it Saturday or Sunday? I think next Saturday, we're getting the Royal Toe Jordan 1s. The white Royal Toe Jordan 1s. Now, there was an exclusive access for them earlier in the week, and I did get exclusive access. Once again, if you guys follow my Instagram, you would have saw my exclusive access. But me personally, it's a shoe that I don't really want for myself. Um, but I did have a friend um, hit me up like, yo, I didn't get exclusive access. Try to get them for me. I'll send you the money. Cool. Tried to get them. Was a little late. Didn't get them. Um, and then obviously there was the restock 25 minutes later, but I didn't know about that. Um, but I will try to get them again when they do come out next week maybe not 100 percent sure i might try to get them but um if i do get them it'll definitely be for someone else or to flip um just once again i told you guys last week how i feel about black toe color color blocking um but it is what it is now moving forward there's a, a bunch of other sneakers that are supposed to be releasing but because of the whole coronavirus situation we have no idea when these release dates are so the first one that i want to start off with is um that's pretty neat is the Jordan 13 Flint. Now, the date we have right now, I think, is May 30th. So that's what we're expecting right now. But this sneaker's obviously been moved back a couple times as far as as well as a whole bunch of other sneakers. We were also supposed to be getting the um I know the hair sixes were supposed to drop at one point this month, then they were moved to July 4th. Now they're moved back up to June. Um, some point in the middle of June. So you never know where these things are coming out. We also got a couple early images of one of the cooler LeBron sneakers I've seen in a very long time. One of the cooler new LeBron sneakers that I've seen in a really long time. Um, like I've said over the years, uh, or over the years, over the last uh, few months and few videos, the way that I feel about LeBron's right now and basketball sneakers in general, new basketball sneakers in general, is that they're hard to wear unless you're a basketball player on the court. They're hard to wear with an outfit. Um, to me, the LeBron line lost its wearability after the 13th. Um, and it lost its like everyday fit wearability. They're a lot harder to wear now. But the LeBron 17 is doing a mashup, it looks like, with the LeBron 6, the New York City colorway that's reselling for hundreds of hundreds of dollars, maybe over a thousand dollars in some places. Um, and they're doing the mashup right there. It looks really, really dope. Um, the LeBron 6, to me, was way ahead of its time. It's a really dope sneaker. Um, one of the best uh, LeBron silhouettes. So really excited to see how this looks when it actually does come out. The pictures we've gotten so far look amazing. So that's a shoe whenever it does come out in the summer, I am excited to get. Another shoe that I saw a leaked image of, and I haven't heard anybody else talking about it that much, so I don't know how serious it is, or at least it probably just won't be coming out anytime soon. But that is the Jordan 14 Gym Red, which looks really nice. Looks like a red, I can't tell if it's a red suede or a new buck or like a synthetic leather but it looks really nice me personally i'm not a big jordan 14 guy um the jordan line once again um similar to the lebron line it loses me usually after 12s um i had i never owned a 13 i've owned one 14 before sold it 
um, but it usually loses me after 12s. Um, but this sneaker looks really dope. Colorway on it looks really nice. I'm just not really sure, like I said, what that material is on it. Um, and that's going to make a lot of the decision for me, I guess. And then also another sneaker that we have coming out. I'm jumping out of order right here because we don't, we're not 100% sure about any of these release dates except for really the Fire Red 5 tomorrow because we can never know what coronavirus or some things getting pushed back. But another sneaker that's coming out either late May, sometime in June, but I also heard some people say in July is the Air Jordan 5 Reverse Grape. Now, maybe it's a Mandela effect, maybe. I don't know, but for whatever reason, in, in my mind, like way before they even showed this shoe coming out, I thought it already existed. I don't know why. I thought maybe it was customs that I seen, but I thought the reverse grape with the whole purple upper is something that already existed, but apparently it's not. And um, we should be getting it some point this summer, either this month or next month or the end of July. Um, and I'm really excited for that. For whatever reason, this year, it seems like it's the year of the purple. A lot of purple sneaker releases in a bunch of different colorways. We have the Jordan 1, we have the Air Max 90s, we got these grapes. Um, bunch of purple coming out, and I'm not mad about it. But um, yeah, these reverse grapes are dope. Uh, I'm really excited to get them. Maybe I got them confused with the black grapes in my head because for whatever reason, these shoes already existed to me. Um, but now they're going to be coming out. And apparently this is the first time we're ever seeing a colorway like this. So that's exciting. Um, really looking forward to get my hands on those. I already mentioned the hair sixes. Another sneaker I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on. But that is it for this episode of Sneaker Talk. It's a little weird right now, once again, with release dates because we're not sure when, what is coming out and if it's coming out at all and you never know they might drop some other things on us um the travis scott uh bruh, the travis scott react 270 came out this morning or at least was supposed to come out i haven't heard anybody talking about it maybe it came out on some of the skate shots skate shops me personally the whole travis scott thing is just all hyped up um the, the ones are cool the jordan ones are cool that he did the the blue fours the travis scott fours the blue ones are nice you know what i mean but for, for the hype and the resale that is worse, I, I personally don't think Travis Scott's music is that great, especially when we're talking about other artists, especially hip hop artists that have sneaker collaborations, whether we're talking about Kanye West, he's a great artist, um, or at least was. The old Kanye was amazing and that's, can't dispute that. Um, I'm talking about college dropout. I'm talking about graduation Kanye. Then we got the whole Kendrick Lamar collaborations that we've had with the React uh, Element 55, and he has the Cortezes. You know what I'm saying? Kendrick Lamar, once again, ahead of Travis Scott. Um, the Eminem, all the Eminem collabs, which are extremely limited, but Eminem is probably ahead of everybody that I just named, um, et cetera, et cetera. I, I just don't get the Travis Scott hype, but that's just me. So, And especially the React 270 is a sneaker that I already don't like. So there, there was just no chance I was going to get that shoe. Um, or even, I mean, there was no chance I was going to get it if I wanted to. But there was no chance I was going to try to get that shoe. But um, that's it for this video, guys, man. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. It is May 1st. 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 It's May 1st. We are 15 days away from the 500 subscriber goal to hit the 500 subscribers to get that giveaway so once again make sure you hit that subscribe button hit 500 subscribers tell your friends tell your people if you want a sneaker giveaway if you want a chance to win sneakers go up to your friend yo there's this dude giving a sneaker giveaway but we need to get 500 subscribers just subscribe to him even if you don't want the giveaway just subscribe to him so we can help get this giveaway popping but it won't happen if we don't hit 500 by may 15th and if you've been around you guys know the significance of may 15th if not i'll tell you on may 15th but um that is it for this video, guys. One more time, subscribe. Make sure you follow my Instagram at AnonymousSneakerhead. And as always, it's all about the sneakers.